All right, one old army guy here. Um, this is a project I've been kind of putzing around with the last couple of days. Um, working on an antenna system here for my little uh, Wuxon or Oshan or whatever you want, however you pronounce it. The little uh, radio that uh, 90 Scalp recommended. So I picked one up. Then I went out and uh, ordered the Slim Jim antenna system here. And uh, I was thinking about it and I said, you know, this this idea that Slim Jim can be rolled up and can be expedient, can be you know kept in a vehicle uh, for bug out or whatever reason to really get out there and reach. So I started thinking about it and I thought, well, I could do some PVC piping and make this thing. So what I did was I took uh, about a 10 foot piece of 3 quarter inch PVC, which is this right here. You can see I started to paint it, but um, put a couple couplers in it so I can screw it together. So the whole thing comes apart from this end down here to this end here. There's 30 inches, and then from here to the top is another 30. And I took an old uh, military bungee cord, so it's got the tension here. It's a little little tension. Drilled the hole, wrapped it around, tied it on. A little uh, zip strip here, all the way down to the other end. Same thing. And then I've got a uh, reducer and a thread. And this is two inch PVC here, uh, going to one and a half down, and then up to the. So I've, I've got it reduced down, so it goes back into the three quarters. But I use a two inch for here. And these are five foot lengths. They're a little longer. Um, I debated about using this type of coupler here every 30 inches, but thought it'd be taken away from the the strength of the the mass. So um, this port this portion could be kept in the you know back of a pickup or strapped to the roof if we needed to. But um, it's pretty light. As a matter of fact, it's really light. And uh, I was planning on painting it today, but we're getting wind gusts of up to 45 miles an hour, so I can't really put it outside and paint it, and I don't want to have it laying down on the floor to paint it. I don't want the paint dripping that way, but that's just me. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to deploy this thing, get it up, and show you guys how it works. Uh, as it sits right here, excuse me, we're looking at 15 feet. Um, I do have another... Oh, let's see if I can grab it. Three quarter inch piece of pipe right here that uh, is also five feet. And I'm going to cut these in half and make them so they're uh, 30 inches roughly. And then we can, you know, I can adjust it because on a day like today, I tried to put it up earlier. And with this piece in there, on that, it's just too windy. It's just, it's blowing over. It's making like a sail already. So I'm just going to do this segment here with a total of 15 feet and just give you an idea. It's pretty it's, it's pretty good height to get it up there. Um, I was pretty impressed with it. Um, like I said, the wind today is pretty bad. So we're going to see how this works, how it turns out. Alright, so here we go. I've got it just strapped in with bungee cords going up. I've got one there and one down here, just to my hitch. But, so it's kind of on an angle. You get an idea. Gets it up there, 15 feet up in the air. There's the peak of my house so another five feet and I get it above I'm not gonna go above any higher today because the wind is just it's just hitting it like a sail and as you can see my flag just whipping and the winds are blowing through here pretty good. Matter of fact the uh, basketball hoop is on the ground because of the wind. So it's quick it only takes a couple minutes to set up. Um, here they so got a screen part here and then the where the actual uh, antenna is, that screws apart there too. So we've got it, and I've got the coax cable coming down. And of course, you know, with this, you could have it sit. You know, I got enough coax there; I could run it right up to the truck. But uh, sitting on there, it's pretty quiet today. What's going on here? So I guess I have to focus a little bit. I guess it's not going to. But. Uh, you know, it's just, it works. I mean, it's higher the, the higher you can get that antenna up, the better off you're going to be. 
and uh, apologize about the wind. I'll try to get out of the way here. But uh, so this is something I've been playing with, and I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it up. I'm gonna paint it, make it look nice, and uh, go from there. I might get another five foot piece of uh, PVC, do the same thing, so I can make the the mast actually a little stiffer because I found a three quarter inch just a little too wobbly, uh, especially with any kind of wind. As you, I mean, as you can see right there, that's blowing around pretty good. But, uh, you know, it's... You know, it's, it's, a, it's pretty good. And uh, I like it. I haven't, uh, I don't have my hand license, so I'm not able to broadcast out to any repeaters and see how far the repeaters I can get. Uh, I know Minbound and I have tried a couple times on the Simplex side um, just to try to try to connect. He's about uh, 18 miles south of me here. Uh, we haven't been able to reach, but uh, he's kind of down in the valley, and I'm kind of down in the valleys. And there's a lot of a lot of stuff between us, including the Mississippi River. So, um, anyways, just something I'm working on, playing around with. All right, so here it is broken down. You can see that the maximum length is about five feet. And there again, this piece here comes apart, so I can actually take this all right down and uh, it'll be about 30 inches. What I didn't discuss earlier was this little piece right here that I've got and uh, you can see it's got the threaded end and it'll just go into here. I'll throw, you know, thread it into there. Now why I did this piece like this was just so that I didn't want to mess with the whole big st uh, mat. Go out here to my truck. Okay, now it's raining on me slide this piece right down over top of one of my antennas which is actually just a dummy antenna for my scanner and then I can screw that well I have it on here and it would be there if you have them above the truck there's my little magnet mount for the radio right here and uh, it's you know another option a little quicker easier so I don't have to carry the whole one around all the time if I don't want to or uh, for instance, if I was to go camping, I could do it that way. Or, I could do it with the uh, 20 inch PVC. But, uh, it's still kind of in the process. I'm going to tweak it a little bit more. I'm going to paint it. Um, decided I'm going to paint it a, a tan color. The reason is, is that my house is a tan color. And it's a good camouflage color. It's kind of flat and it'll kind of disguise a little bit. But, anyways, like I said, just something I'm working on, fucking around with keep my mind busy and uh, enjoying it. Really looking forward to next month when I go and take the test and get the you know minimum get my technician license, hopefully I get the general license and uh, go forward from there. But uh alright, the one old army guy. Thought I'd share that with you guys. I know uh like I said last night talking to the frog toad and uh, Nancy Scalp on Skype we were talking a little bit about it and uh told him about what I was doing. So this is it. Talk to y'all later. Alright guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see they're all painted up. They did a nice khaki color. Kind of the main reason why is my house is a beige color and if I put this outside I don't want it to uh be standing out bright white, so um let me see here's the other piece. Alright, they're all nice. I painted up, but um and the antenna down here. But, you know, you can see that my house is kind of a beigey color and if I put this up outside, do a quick comparison here, you'll see that this uh kind of blends in. It's a little darker, but I think if you saw it from a distance it's not gonna stand out quite so much. But uh, just something I was kinda like I said, I've been playing with and Next step I'll do is I'll get it to put up here and see how it works. And maybe I'll try to reach Minbound on the radio. We'll see. I don't know. We're about 18 miles apart and we've got a couple valleys between us. So I don't know how that'll work. But uh, I don't think we're going to, neither one of us have enough power with the uh, handhelds pushing 5 watts to make that distance, even with the Slim Jim antennas. So that's just my opinion. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Alright, one old army guy here. And, uh, Here's the end result of this.
antenna, and I've only got it up. Uh, only got uh, what, 15, 15 feet, 20 feet if you include the top part, portion of it there. Up, and it's it's kind of breezy today. Um, you see, here's the other two portions, or sections I've got that would go in there, and you can see that the color I chose and why I chose it, because from a distance it's gonna be really hard to see. I want to get it up on the roof where I want it. Um, I honestly don't think I'm gonna use this piece here. Um, for a permanent, any type of permanent installation or even temporary, I might use this if I was on the truck for the bug out vehicle, um, just to give it that extra space. But where I'm planning on putting it is right up there um, on that peak. I'd love to be able to get up there a little ways, um, get that just that you know that six, eight feet, ten feet higher, um, and get it going that way. I mean. That direction right here is south. So, like right now, if you look at that antenna, I've got it facing pretty much towards Minbound's house, but uh, I haven't, been, haven't even tried to communicate with him to see if it's uh, what's going on there or not. But, you know, that direction here, like I said, that's south. So, um, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, that's only the. Uh, 15 feet plus the size, so it's you know 20 feet up there, and uh, it looks pretty nice. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, Communication-wise, I know right now um, I'm getting I'm hitting this phone repeater here. I'm pulling in uh, is one that if I have just the normal rubber ducky on there, uh, it's hit or miss. And uh, it's coming in. It's coming in really strong right now. And I know, like I said, with the rubber ducky, it's it's hit or miss on that repeater. Uh, I can move around the house and it'll conk out. So this proves just getting a different antenna and getting a few feet up off the ground uh, makes a world of difference. And you can see all I did here with this was used some bungee cords and strapped it in temporarily. It took maybe about five minutes to get it up there. It was a little difficult twisting this piece here um, together as I was going about doing so, but uh, trying to balance that and twist it at the same time. So maybe the next time I do it, I'll uh, put it up a little differently. Maybe I'll just twist them all together and try to stand it up. But either way, it's a good little uh, inexpensive uh, antenna mass that I was able to get up. Um, I think total, without the cost of the paint, I think the paint was about, you know, I don't know, ten ten dollars for the paint. It took two cans, and maybe fifteen dollars for the uh, cost of the the PVC. I'd have to go back and look at all the receipts uh, and figure out the exact cost of it. But it was really. Um, really really inexpensive when you compare that uh, going out and getting uh, some of these antennas can cost you know hundred dollars plus and you know here I've got uh, an antenna up there I've got it you know well at this point it's what 30 feet off the ground off, off the deck height and I'm you know pretty clear I'm still not quite out of the out of the hole that we're in but uh, I can get it up on the get it up on the peak of the house, um, we'll be much better off than what we are right now, and get that up there, and so, and, uh, I know, not too scalloped and, and men down, they have theirs permanently mounted, and I know that, uh, you know, I know his antenna is the height, is, is the antenna, is, is the thing, but, anyways, I'm rambling, one alarm, we got out.